All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's a nice gloomy day here in Florida. It's about 60 degrees, but I'm not complaining at all because it's probably 10 degrees in Connecticut right now. But if you guys watched last video, we were at Clean Culture. It was a banger. We had a lot of fun. If you missed that video, you can go click up in the corner right now and check that out. Nick is actually transporting my LS E36 back to Adams right now. And K2 Industries, shout out to them. Their Instagram's right here right now. They actually gave me a duck bell and a roof spoiler for the E36 but Chris kind of went full custom on the paint job and we don't actually have like it's not a real color you know because like he makes some flake in it he did a couple things he made it pop so the problem is we can't really replicate that color without stealing a body panel off the E36 so we're intercepting Nick right now and we're gonna take one of the over vendors off so we actually have the color of the car and then we can paint match that stuff and then we can actually get that stuff on so definitely excited like literally as we're leaving k2 industries i hate that sound so much can you please throw down in the comments what the hell that is like i don't even understand it's vibrating my ass it's like a free massage scene but anyways Shout out to K2 Industries. I'm really excited to see what that stuff looks like. They have iced out tails as well. And I hope if this goes well, we'll hit them up for the E36 and this. Like, iced out tails on the black wagon, dude. This would be sick, but let's go see Nick. Feeling like that guy today. Race car. Oh my, what's that rev limiter, dude? I was trying to do the Jimmy Oaks. I almost did it. Dude, what was that? Was, uh, never, that's weird. I cut the clip. I hate that. All right, we're going to try that again. One sec. Let's just get a nice green light here. Look around for people that you don't want to see. Things all good, I think. We're in Mexico. I should be. You can pay them off, right? You can pay people off in Mexico. I have to clutch kick it three times to do a burn. Dude! I can't give you permission to clutch kick it. Before you dude. bought it. Oh, oh, oh that yeah. makes it better. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Florida asshole. Oh, the Mexico asshole. Sorry. We're Nick's meeting us here. Hey, look at the unit. It's kind of sad that we have to steal a fender off of this, but the car show's over, so time to strip her back apart. Yo, all good, bro. You're only two hours late, man. <laughs> I got a shit so bad, this is fun. You're gonna take it, well, at least you don't wear underwear. I love calling him out for that, but yeah, we're gonna take this over fender off and rob it. Okay. That's yeah, probably that's smart. So, yep. so you're gonna get it free done or? Woo! Look at that beautiful cut, man. That nice ridge. Beautiful. Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> I can't lie, man. Other than the few things I hate about this car, this was a sick purchase. For the price that I got it, dude, I've already put probably 350 miles on it. We've been driving a lot, and this thing just takes it, dude. It's a great daily. It fits a lot. Um, I actually just went over to Mako real quick. We dropped off that over fender, and then we dropped off the duck bell and stuff from K2 Industries. Uh, now, I'm actually heading a little bit south. I became friends with a few of the Drift Taxi guys and uh, a few other people that are friends with them as well. And everyone's getting me to this crazy car thing. Dude, I'm seeing them all over Instagram. Like, people are just having a blast with them. And I've ridden them once or twice. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm terrified of them. They're actually quite intimidating and they can go really fast. And uh, either in this video or another video, I'm, I'm definitely gonna show you that. But they are intimidating. But I'm actually going to get a bone stock one right now. I found one on the marketplace. It's 200 bucks. We get some training in. And I think we're gonna be building one to be quite the monster. So I'm definitely excited for that. Also quite terrified. But just ordered a roof rack and a bike holder for the wagon as well. I'm really excited for that. I'll be honest, I kind of lost track of the whole like building cars for a purpose. You get a little quite comfortable with the whole YouTube thing because you're constantly trying to make new content. You're constantly getting cars but there comes a point where you just have too many cars and you're just buying them and they're either not registered or not insured or whatever they are and you really can't legally drive them on the street so yes you make content with these cars but you don't really fall in love with them because you're not driving them every day but I recently changed a few things about my life that it's really easy for me to now register cars 
and I registered everything. So I'm allowed to drive everything, which is a game changer in my life because I have too much it's like re-sparking my creativity, if that makes sense, because like I'm driving this, I'm like, dang, like I wanna change the steering wheel and I wanna change the shifter and I wanna get some M3 mirrors. Like that's just like little stuff, but like it's just an example. Like just actually driving in a car and like being in it for more than 10 minutes, like, hey guys, this thing hits boost, it's sick, and have it sit in a fucking corner for six months. Like I'm like getting excited about this car. Like I just ordered the roof rack, I ordered the bike rack, I'm trying to find like a little roof bucket, cause like I want this thing to be like the Florida daily dude I want to have my crazy car I want to have my bike I want to have like a little storage bin so I don't even have to bring clothes to Florida anymore like this thing when I get to Florida I have everything I need so like that that's that's what I mean it just like kind of sparks that new energy I'm really excited to actually be able to drive my cars and not just drive them for a video and be scared that I'm gonna get in trouble so definitely excited definitely I think it's gonna change the content a lot too so I'm excited for that but let's go get this crazy car dang it I can't get close enough but I love those old Accords the boxy ones dude throw it down in the comments damn it dude I love those all right target acquired dude we got the crazy car we're ready to roll got her for 200 beans dude I get there Cart's not turning on, and this is like an older couple, like they bought it for their grandsons like not too long ago, and the grandson just didn't like it, whatever. And um, he's like, man, I swear this thing works. Just put new batteries in it. I'm sitting in these people's kitchen, dude, taking this thing apart, looking at the wiring and anything, and it turns out it just hasn't been used in a long time, so the switch is just a little, like, you gotta push it like a boy. And you just had to push the switch down hard, and it ends up working fine. So I just got it, just test rode it around. Um, already spun out twice but eh, I'm happy that I have it at 12 miles per hour right now because working with taxi garage I know those guys can do some crazy things with these and um, I'm assuming that we're gonna upgrade the hell out of mine so I need to do a lot of practice before I I die on this thing God, it feels so good. This is the first time I'm ever winning on a slot machine. Threw 20 bucks in. And it just keeps climbing. We keep getting free spins. This is great. Okay. Awesome win. We're not even doing anything. Woo. This is wild. I haven't clicked this button in probably five minutes. It just keeps going. Oh, it's going fast. Oh my God. Not bad, I'll take it. When you hit the random slot, man, you really just hit it. Let's go, 4,800 times seven, whatever that means. We're going for the ride though, let me enjoy this. I'll take this all in. Wow, this is even better. My question is, how is it gonna keep, when's it gonna stop? Hopefully it just goes forever. It's slowing down, I feel like. No way we're going over 300. We're going over three hundy. Do I see a four hundy? Holy fuck, what is happening here? Oh, not bad. Definitely not complaining with that. We're getting the fuck off this though, let me tell you. All right, we just put eight bucks in. Big win. We literally just put eight dollars in. Oh, it's going slow enough. Not that big of a win. We literally just hit it one time and we got the power wheel, so I'll take that. We're already up 400 for the night, so we're just playing the 2250 that we just got. We're gonna put it in roulette, because look at this. Look at all of that. Like it hasn't hit red in forever, so like you might as well, right? If you're already up 400 bucks and you don't care about it, then have a good time, we'll see. Wow, there it is. Woo! 44 bucks from literally three dollars or eight bucks or whatever we put in well guys we arrived with 500 and we're leaving with 11 can't lie can't complain here super stoked <laughs> casino money question mark dang that actually looks kind of fun i'm into that that was what we're spending casino money on carnival games i love them Woo! Oh, hey, 
How's it going? I'm barely strapped in. <laughs> oh boy. God, I'm like gonna fall out of this seat for real. <laughs> you can't go to an amusement park without getting your good old turkey leg that's been sitting in Greece for the past three hours. Not bad, honestly. Well, boys, getting money at the casino was a plus. Bush Gardens was sick. I absolutely love roller coasters. Now it's time to drive the wagon three hours to West Palm Beach, where we start diving in the 240, doing a couple mods on the wagon, just chilling, having a good time. This is the first place I stop every time I hit West Palm Beach. All right, so I just got to Roberto's shop not too long ago. I've been playing around with the crazy cart. You can see we're already kind of getting down just a little bit. Um, my friend Connor that works here had an upgraded battery that I stole from him for the time being because his motor blew up. Um, we're going to Taxi Garage tomorrow and I don't really know exactly what we're going to be doing. They have like motor swaps or motor upgrades and stuff. They have like a 500cc and a 900cc. I don't know if we're going to be going for the 900 yet because I already kind of busted ass on this once and it kind of hurts so i think we're going to do the 500 cc with the upgraded battery but honestly with just the upgraded battery this thing kind of goes pretty fast but we're not talking about that right now um while i was in orlando and i got this wagon i was like dude the perfect mod is roof racks for these things and i really want to get back in and riding my bike and stuff i'm in florida so much that obviously you guys know this is the florida daily matt is actually working on getting my bike shipped down here for this week so I'm just gonna leave my bike down here and I figure since we got the wagon might as well make it look a little cooler by getting a bike rack right there so we got the roof racks from Amazon we got the bike rack I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna open this stuff right now and see how it looks I'm pissed we don't have the bike yet because I'm such a bot hurt to see how the bike looks with the wagon I want to do a bike there's two there's two options here because I do want to get in a mountain bike and I did tell you guys that but to spend five grand on a mountain bike is a little irresponsible currently, but I either want to do the bike rack, which I have right there, and then a little basket. Usually the baskets kind of go throughout the whole thing, but if I can find like a custom made one that can go on the side, can fit all my clothes and stuff, because I literally want this thing to be like, I land in Florida, this thing's waiting for me. I got brand new clothes, I got my bike, I got everything, and we don't have to worry about nothing. So I don't know either double bike for a mountain bike or bike and then roof basket. Let me know what you think. Either way, I think it's gonna look super sick. All right, so we went with the cheapest roof rack we can find. Good old Amazon basic. This thing had plenty of reviews for me to just send. It was like 120 bucks or something. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. We're just gonna throw this thing on. I mean, it seems pretty basic. Oh, I'm not, I don't litter. Get the thing, stay there. And um, yeah, let's just throw this thing together. Well, you have to be more now. More than three and a quarter. Great, we got fucking Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, we're, we're right, we're right. We're, we're good. We're right. All right, yeah, so right. now we're good. All right. So, uh, this is actually going pretty good. This is quality bonding time with me and Alex here. We gotta measure this part. Oh yeah, we gotta do this three inches. We're doing three inches from this line. We got the weather strip underneath, dude. This thing's gonna be minty. I'm thinking I'm gonna take it back apart though and do it black. What do you think? Do you like this chrome, the silver look? Yeah. I, you actually? Yeah, You're just not saying that because you don't want to take it back off? Uh, contrast emphasis. All black car. Throw it down in the comments. You guys like the silver Amazon basic or should we run this black? We can roll with that. I'm happy with that. Alrighty. We got one, we got one on. We're going to tighten it and then we got to get the other. Dang, I kind of fuck with it. I kind of like the silver. It's looking pretty good. We got everything measured correctly. We've measured this thing like a hundred times. Like this thing should be pretty freaking perfect, but we are gonna put the bike rack on now for the bike that I don't have in Florida. I can't lie, I'm not a happy camper right now. So it's the next day after installing the roof rack. 
Honestly, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty stoked in the roof rack. I don't like the silver, it needs to be black. I like the murdered out look, but you know, for some reason in the wagon, I'm a big sunroof guy in this. You know, I like to have the sunroof down, get some breeze going, it's not too much with the window. It's good. I can hear the motherfucker ringing right now, but I went to go put my sunroof down. I'm hearing this weird noise. I'm like, this is weird. I never hear this. Is the wind different or something? It's the roof rack, dude. Listen to this. Why is it squealing? It's driving me nuts. And you can actually hear it when the sunroof is close, too. Ooh, I'm mad. I gotta look into that, because that's not okay, but roof rack's on. It looks, I don't know, to me it makes it look like a work wagon. I don't know if I like it. I gotta paint it. I didn't really want to take it apart, but we have to. Dang, look at all those propane tanks, dude. That's wild, I've actually never seen that. Damn, that's a liability. Woo! Ugh, damn it. I was just sitting here talking to Matt on the phone for 20 minutes, not paying attention, and we got overheating issues. Oof! Ooh, that's bad. I didn't even realize it. I wasn't even paying attention because I was so, like, in my own head. Damn it! All right, boys. Well, it has officially been about five or six days since I started dealing the wagon. I must say, I've never owned wagons, I can, and now I can... I can honestly say that, Matt, I understand why you like the wagon life, dude. I absolutely love this car. We did have a little bit of an overheating issue last night, but that was literally just because I was sitting in the parking lot for 20 minutes. It was 80 degrees out. The AC was just on and just idling, and I don't think the AC fan works, but we topped off the coolant. It was just down just a little bit, but I've been driving around all last night and this morning, and this thing is not even skipping a beat. Definitely needs a few things. Like, we need to get an oil pressure sensor. Paint the front bumper because you can see it's got some fade I want to get some m3 mirrors some m3 side skirts m3 rear bumper um, it's got a decent amount of rust around the whole car you can see just miscellaneous spots um, but Chris over at Mako said that we can fix that not a problem all of that stuff is really easy so I want to do that I want to paint the Amazon basic silver because I absolutely hate that the window the driver window is messed up and it takes forever to roll up. I hate that, I wanna fix that as well. Um, needs a new steering wheel. That is pretty AIDS. Honestly, this is nitpicking, but I don't like that these screws are there and it's cracked and everything. Like overall, like, I really like this car. I wanna put poly bushings in it all around. I wanna go through the suspension, make sure everything is good. I just want this thing to last a really long time and I thoroughly enjoy driving this car. So I am gonna spend the extra buck to make this thing right. At the end of the day, if we have to spend like 2,500 bucks to $3,000, we'll be in this car still way less than what I personally think I can sell it for, especially after we do all the M3 trim and we get all of that done. We do bushings and all of that. Like this thing will be worth quite a bit of money. And nonetheless, I am really excited that we got this car. Matt sent out my bike that's gonna be here in a couple days, but I'm honestly leaving pretty soon. Um, we're gonna be working on the 240 and stuff. And after that, I'm gonna be leaving. But I think that's gonna be it for this video. Honestly, it was just more of a little chill video. Went to Bush Gardens, decided to go to the casino and stuff. And I just been hanging out with some friends, having a good time. But it's time to get back into work, work on the 240. Um, we're meeting up with Taxi Garage, which I'm insanely excited about. No idea what I'm gonna do with my cart yet, but we're, we're gonna make something happen. So definitely stay tuned. Really excited for a couple things, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.